Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and we're going to talk about firewalls. So if you want to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. There's a Hire Us button up at the top if you'd like to hire short projects such as configuring firewalls. If you want to help the channel out in other ways or find discounts and deals on products and services that we talk about, we have some affiliate links down below. Now let's dive into the firewall comparison. This is by no means an exhaustive list of every firewall in existence that would just well, be beyond the scope of what I have time to do right now. And also, I wanted to cover ones that we frequently talk about on the channel because these questions come up a lot. So I just wanted to kind of make a little matrix across about how these work. Now we'll start with which ones we chose. PFSense, Untangle, USG Pro, UDM Pro, and the Edge Router series. Operating systems. PFSense, fully open source and based on BSD. Untangle, open source based on Linux, but does have paid features. Not every feature in the Untangle world is free. Some of them are kind of like a sold as a subscription service because it's more than just the software. It's also some of the feeds that come with it. I won't dive into what is or isn't paid on this list because that's all documented on our site and I've done reviews of it. Um, but and if you're thinking about any of these, you have to look at some of the pricing and what features come with them. Now, these are a little different over here. I do know, I'm saying Edge OS, I do know they're somewhat Linux-based and things like that, but I'm, they're not the same as Untangle and PFSense because the two, the things that make PFSense and Untangle stand out, they're both software that you can just go download and load on your own hardware, or there's software that can come on the appliances that they sell, and it's the same software either way, whether you buy an appliance from PFSense and you buy a NetGate appliance, which is the officially supported ones, um, it's going to be the same software you get when you download it, and the same goes for Untangle. They have the ability to sell you an appliance, and or you can just go download the software. You cannot download and load your own, build your own router with any of the uh, Ubiquiti lineup. So I left on there what OS are running, but I do I am aware that they are on Linux, but there that is a defining difference. Which you can download is the Unify Software Defined Networking Controller, the Unify SDN for the USG. The Unify SDN is a little bit different on the Pro and then UNMS. Now, they go more than just firewalls, obviously. So the Unify Software Defined Network Controller in the USG line will control the Wi-Fi, will control the switches, as well as the firewalls, and it supports multiple sites, and we'll talk about that in the dashboard part. The Unify UD, UDM and UDM Pro are a little different because the software defined network controller comes on the box. It's more of a everything integrated type of box and it doesn't allow you to host the software defined network controller externally to manage the boxes. And then the Edge OS comes a UNMS. And that's where the centralized management comes in. PFSense does not, NetGate does not officially have any type of centralized management that is up to you logging into the firewalls to manage them yourself. Untangle via their website does have centralized management, so you can tie Untangle boxes to a central dashboard to manage all the year Untangle installs if you're a business that's managing multiple sites or an MSP like we are. The software defined networking controller, we host it ourselves, but you can host it wherever you'd like, and that is completely allowed to control many sites at once in a single controller, making it fairly easy to manage all of them. And like I said, it goes beyond managing just the firewall, but yes, it does have central management uh, that you have the ability to host or get a hardware cloud key and host it on that if you don't wanna run it on your own hardware or virtual machine or however you wanna set it up. The UDM, UDM Pro, like I said, it comes integrated and completely integrated on the UDM system. So it's part of the management there, but it does have, let's say you deployed several of these and you wanna manage them, you can manage them through the Unify dashboard because each one of these can talk to the Unify dashboard. So you can start at the Unify dashboard and then get into each of the ones that you've registered with it. Edge routers have UNMS. The UNMS system is not as extensive as the software defined networking controller that you get with Unify, but it is a way to manage it. I've not done any videos uh, or deeper reviews on that particular product. I will also mention I've not reviewed yet the Unify Dream Machine Pro. That's why it's in front of me. It is on my review list. It's in process, uh, but I've still looked at it enough to finish this little firewall chart. Open VPN server. Now you're gonna see me talking about command line features. We ourselves at Lawrence Systems do not support it this time, uh, configuring a lot of these things where it says yes via command line. They're kind of fuzzy on the official support. There's documents on Unify's website or Ubiquiti's website on how to do some of these things, but obviously they're a lot harder to manage because you're just 
setting it up all from the command line following several work instructions so they can be a little bit more challenging but at least i'm not going to say no they don't support it but it'll be yes via command line and this is where people get confused because they think that hey it's got a web interface therefore every feature that it has must be accessible via the web interface and that's not true for some of the other devices so open vpn server completely supported in pfSense and untangle this is both for site-to-site -site vpns or for users logging in there are different user managements uh, built into both pfSense and untangle so you can integrate your users build lists etc and for example uh, you have like a radius server you can set up or different user lists or use external authentication from there's a ton of diversity in how you can configure the open vpn server on both of these devices but over here you're just doing it via the command line so it depends on your ability to set up open vpn from the command line and add the features that you may want and get things going working as a client same thing really easy now what does that mean when you have a firewall as a client for example if you wanted to use a vpn service then you could have policy routing where you say hey i want my whole house or at least these computers to go out via the vpn to wrap everything in the vpn it can facilitate that uh, that is well supported on pfSense and untangle once again that comes down to command line configurations on the other ones ipsec is supported in all of them L2P VPN supported on PFSense does not appear, at least I, so through Google searching and looking, I did not see any support for it on Untangle. They do support though the IP second open VPN. I did not see L2P specifically on there. Um, but not many P I don't recommend using the L2TP VPN. It's usually IPsec or open VPN are the two more popular ones anyways. But uh, yes, we have a command line on the edge router. Now, policy routing, kind of mentioned it with the VPN. This is just where maybe you have multiple WAN connections or WAN plus VPN or some mixes in between. They have really uh, complicated policies that you can do within PFSense. They're not complicated to do, but they can get complicated. And I've done videos about how policy routing works um, that is completely fully enabled with the web interface as extensible as you want to do. Um, you can get really granular with it with all the options. Same thing with Untangle. They have a lot of policy routing options. Once again, we're back to a command line over here. It's not like you can do it. But of course, if you're setting up a VPN and you want certain devices to go out that VPN, um, you've already set it up for the command line. So yes, the policy routing is have to go through the command line as well. Intrusion detection, intrusion prevention system. Sericata or Snort. You actually get two choices with PFSense. You choose which one you want. Uh, Untangles, baked in Sericata is part of their offering. When it gets over to the USG, I'm pretty sure, and someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but it's Sericata under the hood, but they're not really exposing it. And what I mean is it's very basic. It doesn't have the fine grain, show me the rules, every little detail in there um, where you can adjust the feeds and a lot of fine tuning. So it's kind of just I should have put yes basic but that's best I can do is say yes it has it so this is where things get a little fuzzy of does it check the box of yes I wanted an IDS system or does it really dive deep into giving me fine grain control over my IDS system and it's not available on the edge router system and I believe it's partly because the edge routers don't have the ability to run it at speed I'm not exactly sure but it's even via command line it doesn't seem to be supported uh, very well from anything I've read I didn't find any instructions on it DNS filtering. I've done plenty of videos on PF Blocker. It gives you tons of fine grain control, custom feeds, et cetera, for doing everything from blocking certain sites, blocking lists, et cetera. It's all based on DNS filtering. It is supported on Tingle, not PF Blocker, but just DNS filtering in general. Not supported that I can find in USG, USG Pro as of right now. It's a beta feature, so it's kind of basic. They've started building it into here. Doesn't give you a lot of fine grain control, so beta basic um, and no on here. GOIP filtering, same answer. It's facilitated by, facilitated by PF Blocker inside of PFSense, but Untangle, it's part of this part of the integrated baked in offering that they have. It's not a separate anything. Matter of fact, all the modules from Untangle are just Untangle's modules that you either get for free or buy as part of their premium features. Not featured here, a basic feature here. Web content filtering. So, yes. Squid, Squid Guard is supported in PFSense. I've done videos on why I'm not a big fan of it. To me, it's not a smooth operation. And uh, generally speaking, man in the middle SSL filtering just becomes a headache of figuring out which sites are broken, which sites cause you problems on it. 
Untangle has a deeper integration for it. I've done a video on it, so I think they've done an, a nice job of wrapping it all together and making it a lot easier to do it, especially when you want to have listings of sites and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of people, if you spend some time in the forums looking at Squid, you'll know why I don't care much for supporting it. It's kind of a becomes a job of sorting out what things go wrong with. And, and this goes for Untangle to some extent as well. The difference is, as part of the premium feature of the web filtering, um, they seem to have pretty good feeds on it, but web filtering in man in the middle SSL can sometimes be challenging. This is an advantage, I will admit, some of the larger commercial firewalls have because they actually will have a package day load on each workstation to help manage them at the same time. So it's not just installing a SERP, but a whole system around it. Um, so there's some trickiness to doing that. It's not my favorite way to do it at the firewall level. It's usually something I prefer other applications to at the workstation level. This is not something supported by USG, the UDM, or the edge router. They don't have any man in the middle SSL. Now, QS traffic shaping, it's advanced on PS Sense. It's advanced on Untangle. You have a lot of options, a lot of fine grain control you have over all the different traffic shaping things you can do. It's kind of basic on the USG. They do have certain quality of service. Um, they have it basic on the UDM. There is some command line options where you can get a little bit more advanced with the edge router. WAN failover. Yes, on the PF Sense, not just WAN failover, multi-WAN, multi-WAN, and I say that twice because you can have three or four connections if you want. There's a lot of different flexibility because when you're defining how many ports you have, whether you buy a NetGate appliance or you build it yourself, you can configure as many ports as you want to WAN. You're not limited to just that. You are um, on the hardware for depending on the USG. The have hardware fail, have two hardware ports on there. So yes, you can do failover one or the other on there. And then the UDM Pro. You can, the UDM, the Unified Dream Machine just doesn't have a second WAN port on there, so I don't see a way to make it do WAN failover. And of course, in the edge router, uh, yes. Load balancing, that's a little bit different than failover where you may want to share and do that. Once again, you've got a lot of advanced controls uh, for how you may want to do that because you can tie it together with policy routing for load balancing on PFSense and on Tingle. And the USG has it, the UDM Pro, I believe I've seen it in there. Um, I did not test it yet, so this is pre-review of it, and it's obviously a very new product, but it appears to be the same Unify USG software, so I believe the option should be there. Yes, via command line there. Active Directory integration. I added this because this question comes up a lot about when you want to build a uh, complete integration. Now, can you do a PF Sense? Well, yes, I know. Someone's going to point out a work instruction where you load something like LDAP, connector inside of PF Sense and then create an LDAP connector inside of there. But I'm referring to like native integration for Active Directory. Uh, that is something that Untangle does have and the other ones don't have. So you can start doing, I'm not gonna dive deep into it, but you can start doing more when you have Untangle and you wanna have it connected to the way your users are tied to your Active Directory. Captive Portal, yes on the PF Sense, yes on the Untangle. I said yes via the software defined networking controller on these because just to make sure I'm clear, it's not actually the firewall that this lives on. So you do need the software defined networking controller up and running to get the captive portal to respond to captive portal requests. So that's an uh, important distinction. Now, technically on the Unified Dream Machine series, because the Unify software controller runs inside the same box, it's going to be on at the same time because they're one and the same and this is not a feature inside the edge router. So, uh, but it does have it. Those are our features. Let's encrypt certificates. And I bring this up because this question uh, is coming up more and more of, you know, how do I install a cert and how do you automate that? Well, that is a plugin for PFSense that is integrated. I seen some people talking about how to put it in some of the other things, but it is a native web interface enabled, just turn it on. It supports the Acme protocol for doing Let's Encrypt certs. And that's important because HA proxy. This is a really popular package to create reverse proxies for things, and it's natively built into PFSense. So you can turn on Let's Encrypt to have your certs, and then you can pass those certs around to all the things behind there. And right now, the way things are going with some of the different browsers, they're getting stricter and stricter on the way they prefer certs, and you know, not everyone wants to do the click-through. Uh, running those two things together, HA proxy with Let's Encrypt, is a great option to take and put those proxies in. And of course you can set up in front of other services you have in there. And this is where PFSense has those, some really advanced features to sit in front of 
servers and then balance between them, HA proxy between them and all the features that comes with it. So I'm not gonna dive deep into that right now, but it is a pretty advanced feature. It's obviously something a lot more than home users might use, but people building a home lab or even businesses I know that are using HA proxy for their systems in there. So it's definitely a cool feature. And yes, I will do a video on it at some point in time. It's on my to that is on my to-do list. I just gotta figure out when to get it on there. So hopefully this was helpful. I will leave a link to the spreadsheet. I will try to do my best to keep it as up to date as possible for you. Um, and I'll revisit it once in a while because these features could change, new features could be added, and some of these things could change. They could suddenly uh, have a new version of the software defined networking controller that opens up a lot more features on these. The Unified Dream Machine is a very re recent release that I haven't even reviewed yet here in February of 2020, like I said. So there could be a whole lot more features coming down the road. Uh, and that's kind of the beauty of software defined networking with reasonable hardware. It just keeps getting better. And of course we have the new version of PFSense. Uh, we'll be out, I'm guessing when it's when it's done. I don't have a date of course, um, but there's more features coming in the new version. There's gonna be some more enhancements. So hopefully this was helpful or maybe you're more confused than when you started. Uh, but these are frequent questions and hopefully this matrix helps and maybe later if I feel real inspired, I'll find another firewall to add to this list and slowly build this list up and add it on there. But as you can tell, the challenge too is they're not always yes or no answers. They're kind of more in depth because saying it does something versus does it do it well is a very loaded question. And I did leave out uh, dashboards because I don't even know how to define that. The dashboards look wildly different on these different devices and that is combination of personal preference and how you want to, you know, how fine grain you want to do that. That would be its, its own video. I, I started in that part and that actually took me a long time to think about, but was very difficult to be concise on. So I omitted it from the video uh, just so I can get the video done. All right. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.